Happy Friday, everybody. I want to first give congratulations to Brian and David. They were the first two uh, golf nuts to correctly point out that the picture we posted yesterday was from the famous 16th hole at Cypress Point, which is in Pebble Beach. So many of you said it was from Pebble Beach, and it is technically in Pebble Beach, California, but it's a different golf course. It's right next door. Tremendously exclusive. I got to play thanks to some wild, weird connections with Hall of Famer Rick Barry. Thank you, Rick. And uh, we will send out the signed copies to uh, Brian and David today, and we'll have further little contest type things like those in the future. For now, we are going to, for today's daily pause, we're going to answer one of the questions that gets sent in kind of on our, on our Ask Me Anything posts on Facebook. So this is a specific parenting question that I want to take seriously, but I also want to try and make it applicable to any parenting situation. So the question is, how do I handle noise in a shared space? We have three kids, and at various points in the day, especially during car rides, one child will want to sing and make noise, another child will choose that moment to want or even need silence. And I always feel arbitrary saying he can make noise right now, or now we need to be silent. I like my kids to sing, but I also understand being overloaded and needing a break. Traveling with three kids in a car, especially if they're young, is terrifying to me. Probably one of the many reasons why my wife and I stopped at two kids, because we were simply not courageous enough to have more than two. We didn't want to be outnumbered love the fact that you have had that courage. My question is, why do we as parents feel so responsible for working out all conflicts between our children? It is as if we're supposed to help make everything so fair and just for them, but they never learn how to actually have to work that out themselves. The way God or the universe or whatever your faith system says, the way it's been set up is that sibling relationships are the longest possible relationships in life. And so I think they've been set up kind of as a laboratory for how to work out conflicts. So when it's tempting to intervene, pause. Watch what happens. How do they learn to work it out themselves? And, and everything in you says, but it's not fair, they're not the same age, they're not the same size, or whatever, and that's life. And this is a great chance with you nearby to intervene in case it gets really awry, but to help provide them this kind of laboratory experience where they get to work it out. Second thing, though, you're driving in the car, your sanity is more important than theirs, because you're the one driving the 2,000 pound fuel fill rocket with them in the back. So. I want to encourage you to have the courage to determine the silence for you, not necessarily for them, or determine their song for you. Yeah, give them the chance to listen to their Barney song, I mean, uh, Frozen soundtrack is not allowed, but you can have other things if you want, but my gosh, listen to the Beatles on your own, introduce them to great music so that you can say to them, look, ultimately I'm in charge of what goes on in the environment of the car. You're in charge of how you respond to it. And you know what? If they go crazy and they're fighting in the back, you always have the power. Pause, pull over, get in a parking spot, put it into park, and just sit there. Just sit there and watch what happens. And they'll be like, uh, mom? And then, with your calm, three breaths, when you guys are calm, then we'll proceed. Because what you have in that moment is the ability to teach them something more powerful than whatever lesson they may get, or you get, by going to where you were trying to go. Is that calm is the best way to proceed through life, and it's the only way to handle conflicts well. And since you're the one driving, don't sacrifice your sanity in order to try and preserve theirs. Okay, everybody have a great weekend. I'm excited. I get to see my daughter home from, from college. I hope you have a great weekend and uh, look for the daily pause on Monday.